BC's cranberry growers and many other businesses and organizations connected to the production of cranberries gathered in Langley in late August for an industry field day. We put on a uh, display of all the support industries and we invite all the growers to come out and uh, see what's new in, as far as technology and all the other related industries that go with uh, farming cranberries. Cranberries are BC's second largest berry crop, with 80 growers producing about 950,000 barrels of cranberries each year. That makes BC one of the top cranberry growing regions in North America. Members of the U.S. cranberry industry also attended the field day, as BC growers have long maintained close ties with their American counterparts. And we're really happy to be here to learn more about how you do what you do and recognize that we're not all that different actually in our production and what we do and we all care a lot about the crop and about the farms and the work that we do. In North America, cranberry products are well established and popular with consumers. So the U.S. cranberry industry is working to develop new markets worldwide. That benefits BC growers as most of the local crop is processed in the United States. We'll be back in China for, uh, for the Food Ingredients China show coming up in November doing more in the way of promotion, education, technical training for the bakeries trade uh, in, in China, and also be in World Food Moscow uh, later this uh, in September uh, to participate in that show and to work with more of the handlers and buyers in Russia to really educate them about the quality and benefit of consuming U.S. cranberries. Also at the field day, BC growers learned a little more about the cranberry industry in Quebec. Last year, we increased our production to 1,850,000 barrel, over 7,100 acre. BC cranberry growers are very interested in keeping up with industry trends in technology, pest control and plant science. And the BC industry is now developing a cranberry research farm in Delta, where different cranberry plant varieties will be tested so that researchers can help local growers identify the varieties that are best suited to our local climate and soil conditions. Another way for growers to increase productivity is to improve pollination. These honeybees are the traditional pollinators on cranberry farms, but a Vancouver Island company is offering something new. So the Western species of bumblebee uh, was collected from the Fraser Valley, so it's native to the area. Uh, and, and we've this year had hives out in several farms. The benefits of bumblebees are that they are very hardy, they work in cold weather conditions so you can get them out into the field early in the spring and if it is a colder, wetter spring the bumblebees will be out pollinating the flowers in conditions that honeybees might not be working in. They're not meant to replace honeybees, but supplement. Another way growers are improving crop yields is by installing automated monitoring and irrigation systems. We developed the graphic user interface uh, together with pump controls to graphically display everything of value or of importance from, from their remote site to uh, essentially their PC or nowadays is being done on the smartphone or tablet. And a Quebec company has developed this soil tension sensor that can tell a cranberry farmer exactly when irrigation is needed. It's part of a completely automated irrigation management system. That kind of system is really well known uh, and really well used in Quebec and Wisconsin and in California as well. Uh, and it really makes water management and irrigation management much easier for growers. Cranberry bogs have narrow dikes, so farmers use small utility vehicles to get around. It's uh, designed for the farmer to get around his farm quickly, easily, do a little bit of hauling with it. Runs a full hydrostatic transmission, power steering and four wheel drive, making your job around the farm a lot easier. It's a common misconception that cranberries are grown in water. Cranberry bogs are actually only flooded for the harvest and that's when specialized equipment is used to get the berries off the vines. Many of these custom machines were built by Todd Strukoff of Riverside Welding in Delta. BC's $48 million cranberry industry helps support many local businesses. At its core are 80 farm families and many of the growers attended the field day. It's the time of the year when it's uh, relatively slow on the farm because the berries are developing and the producers do not want to uh, walk out in their bogs and damage their crops. So um, it's, a, uh, it's an industry event and it's a great social event.
With field day complete, growers now return to their farms and start getting ready for the fall harvest, which is less than two months away.